TGIF friends, I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca with your need to know weather. Flood risk for your Friday resumes north and west of the Houston area, level one out of four. The further north and west you go toward Waco, that level of flooding is slightly higher, a level two out of four. And when you take a look at the raincast, you can see not much precipitation expected to accumulate from Houston southward, but we are going to see quite a bit of accumulation west of I-45. Same areas that picked up anywhere between three to five inches yesterday could pick up an additional one to three inches of rain today. This morning, it'll start off with just some light rain showers and then perhaps a few of those showers and thunderstorms will blossom into some heavier downpours and thunderstorms west of I-45 as we move forward into the afternoon and evening hours with most of the activity rolling out of here as we get closer toward midnight. Here's a look at the highs for today. Temperatures away from the coast in the mid to upper 80s, low 80s down along the coastline. And then looking ahead to the weekend. Yes, the weekend before Halloween and many of you have plans. We do have some low rain chances for Saturday and then those rain chances actually go up Sunday night as a cold front moves through sometime overnight Sunday into Monday morning. So the weekend will be warm with highs in the 80s and then we've got some colder air blowing in as the front moves through. Temperatures on Monday should fall somewhere into the 50s during the morning and then that jacket you will need first thing Tuesday morning as temperatures dip into the upper 40s. Now it does look like trick-or-treaters could be in for a little bit of uh, wet weather. Expect chilly temperatures. Temperature readings expected to fall in the mid 50s as we get close to six or five, six o'clock in the evening. And by nine o'clock, as you start wrapping up your trick or treating, it is going to be colder and some strong winds. Those winds still out of the north blowing 15 to 20 miles per hour. Beyond Halloween, we've got the sunshine returning with even some colder weather. Now the overnight lows are projected to dip into the upper 30s as you get out the door Thursday morning with temperatures only warming in the mid to upper 60s at least through Friday. The following weekend is showing signs of a little bit of a warm up. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Friday. Have a great day.